Hello, my name is Rob Williams from SCCS. This is a likely Captivate tutorial for the introduction to coding and line work. You can find further information and training material at learninglica geosystemscom or on the SCCS knowledge base at kv.sccssurvey.co.uk. You can use the coding and line work feature on any total station or GPS that's run in the Captivate software. First thing we need to do is uh, go through our settings just to make sure that the coding alarm work is turned on. So settings, customization, coding, and what we need to see is that create line work is ticked in this box, that we can allow new code to be created and also it's useful to show the code description alongside the code. The other options can be left unticked and as default. And now what you need to check is that you have a code list selected. So there are standard code lists. This one is from Leica called Survey Coding. So we're going to use this for this exercise. You can edit and create your own. Store that. Back to the main screen. The app that we need to go into is Measure. And you'll see once in the Measure screen on the left, the first column, we have point ID, target height, information on the horizontal vertical angles, and horizontal distance. The second tap over is your coding and line work screen. So we're now ready to start our survey. For this part, I'm going to carry on using the simulator, but I will be going outside with a GSO7 to do it in the field. So to view available codes, click in the white box, and we're going to pick the curve. This brings up the box, which gives me the curve abbreviation, description, string number, and also this symbol here, which tells me it's the start of a string. There's also an attributes box here. So I'm ready to survey my first point. Data. Point stored. Then need to input the data for my second point. All this. Point stored. It automatically joins the points up with the string. The third point is actually going to be the start of a curve. What I do here is click on the symbol, brings up this list, and I'm going to do the begin three point arc. Survey the point. Point stored. back into my code box. This time I'm going to click fence. Start a new string. Survey my first point. Point stored. I'm now going to do a building string. Again, pick from the list. Survey the first point on my building. Point stored. And what I can do here is obviously I'm going about to survey the last point, but I'm going to make a captivate and join up the string back to my first point. So before I survey the penultimate point, what I need to click is the symbol and then close line. It's okay. Make sure my details are correct for my last point. Measure. Point stored. And you see it joins up the string. What I can also do is carry on with the previous string. So for example, the fence, I've decided I want to do another point. So click down, back onto my fence string, input the relevant data. Apply. 
point stored. We can now see we've continued the fence string. We're now going to head outside to do a small survey to show you how this works in the field. Once finished, I will show you how to get the drawing off of the CS20 controller and then into your relevant CAD package. Okay, so I'm here with my GSO7 Net Rover, my CS20, and we'll do a little survey of this yard. Ready to start survey, I've created a job, selected a code list, started my data stream, straight into measure, set the first code, start the fence, what you're going to do is centre the screen where I am as well, and also just zoom in. Start the wall string while I'm here. I'm also going to start a footpath. I'm also going to start the building stream. Before I get the last point, pick clothesline. Okay, and then what this will do if I zoom out slightly, close the string. got here is uh, another wall starts the current wall so what I can do is create another wall code which is string two and what I'm going to do is multi on and then I can survey two points with different codes on the same coordinate so you don't end up with two different points slightly different positions So the wall two is going to come off in this direction. Centre that on there. Go back to my wall one, finish it. I zoom in again. Here we are. This one, close it. Click on the symbol again. Close line. I'm going to strong that one back. Now I'm going to start a new fence string. I can just press the number two, enter, automatically starts new fence two, a new string. And then I'm going to multi-code again because I have a gate. Pick gate from my list. 
then multi on. The two codes. Serve our footpath now with the curve in it. First bit of the string. Create new codes if they're not on my list. Click on the symbol. And now I'm going to do new. I'm going to call this spot level. And then code group. I'm put into levels. And then I don't want line work because it's a single point. I'll turn that off. And then I will add an attribute as well. I'm going to call this grass. So my note comes out. Store. Okay. It's a single point. Once we've finished the survey, we can have a quick look at the display function, display, just turn on point codes and the heights. We can check for target eye errors by flicking into 3D mode. So then allows them to have this orbit function. Quick look around the survey, make sure there's no errors. Obviously once I'm happy with it, we can then go into the export option. We're ready now to export the DXF from my survey, so on the home screen, on my working job, click export data, DXF, information on where we're going to export to, so SD card, and then obviously give it a name, survey one DXF, at this point press function settings, and we just want to pick some um, DXF specific options, so obviously we'll leave all these ticked, DXF specific, so Dimensions in 3D, you could pick 2D if you wish, um, lines and polylines, and then the DXF layer to export to, we want to select a code, so it will create layers in CAD based on our codes, symbols if you had them, and then under label creation, these are all defaulted to no, so all this would currently export is just nodes, crosses, so if we do edit, and we say yes, I'm going to leave these as default, but it will obviously export now ID labels next to the crosses. Um, I'm going to put heights on there as well. Tick that, okay. And then when I mentioned earlier about adding attributes, so this is a way to get text out onto the DXF. So if I tick those as well, I'm then going to get those couple of notes that I added in the field. And if I tick this box as well, 
OK, press OK, and then OK again, and then it exports the data to the SD card. Final thing we need to do is just look at the survey join in the CAD package. I'm going to use Bricks CAD for this. Open. And here we have it. Here's the final survey. So you can see that the note has come through against attribute one with the grass. We have the point heights next to the nodes. We have the IDs. And then the strings have come through on the specified layer. I highlight one there. We have a wall. That's all there that's it so thanks for watching if you need any more information please do get in contact